Yo, so, man, what AJ was saying, we had got cut off for a minute. You know how I go, 15 minutes on this um, Spotify and iHeart radio distribution. So we're going to let him go ahead and get back get back with the flow of things. What was going on, bro? Yeah, I was saying, like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't, you can't really ignore it. You know what I mean? It's, because it's because it's there in your face. It's just like I said. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a choice you made, and it all depends on whatever whatever situation you're in. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to you don't want to lose. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you want to you want to keep your respect. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody disrespecting, you don't want nobody putting their hands on you. But at the same time, I mean, my honest opinion, because with this lifestyle, this trucking lifestyle, did for me and my family, I don't want to just lose it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just give it up that easy. But I'm not about to let nobody just. Like do nothing to me, you know what I'm saying? You can really say whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? But all that putting your hands on me and getting in my face and doing all that, that's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Touching my property. I'm mad now, but a lot of that shit, bro, you just you just can't ignore it. The here, you can't ignore it. There's no way to ignore it. You know what I'm saying? You always think about that shit because of what we just been through as people, as black people. You can't ignore it. Because you're gonna keep seeing it, it ain't gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? It can go from the truck stop, you can go from the being being on the road, ah, look in it, different town. But like I said, my biggest thing is I just wouldn't, I wouldn't get into a situation if it was a way to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? If it's a way to get away from the shit, leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what you're running up on me, and, and they definitely don't know don't know what they're running up on either. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, yeah, we feel as though, you know, we black, we've been from the hood, and, you know, we know shit for shit. You don't know what this white boy got on us. You know what I'm saying? You don't know if they're trying to lure you out the truck to get you out of what you got. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because once, once you got that truck, you too. Bro, I seen you know it. I seen a damn video uh one of my guys on uh TikTok. He had forwarded it to me. And it was a, the cra this like the craziest situation to be put in, but he was sitting down in his truck and it was a city police officer. It wasn't the state. It wasn't no damn um a DLT officer. It was a city police officer that was inside of the the damn uh rest area and he trying to get him out the truck and and and, and the truck driver he black and the, and the officer was white but the truck driver like no nah, bro i'm not getting out he was like well you gonna open this door and he just opened it the, the trucker opened the door long story short he trying to tell me he is resisting arrest I'm like no nah, bro like you messing with him clearly dude just sitting in his truck bro he wasn't doing nothing nah if we had some footage on like what was going on before that but it looked like a like he really was just chilling you know what I'm saying? Then he just was fucking with him as as a police officer. And he like, bro, you not even a, you not even a DOT officer, a state, uh, a commercial driver, inspector, and none of that shit. Like you just a, you just a, a you just really a, a regular, smuggler police officer. You need to go attend to some bigger. Yeah, like what is you doing? Yeah. He done handcuffed him and everything. Like, like tased him. Like it was just crazy, bro. Like what do you do? In them instances, do you like I'm, bro? I'm, I'm, and I go here. I, I want you to go because I feel some type of way about that one, though. You know? Yeah, bro. I've never been pulled over by like you know. Now I've been pulled over by state troopers, but I've never. I've had city. I call them city cops. Uh, I I've had a city cop like pull up on the side of me and tell me like you know you can't you can't you can't make a turnaround right here or you know what I'm saying you can't park here. I've never had a a real altercation. You know what I'm saying? With 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 the city police, you know what I'm saying? Like even like this one, I was just in Memphis. You know what I'm saying? I knew I was wrong for turning around right there at this intersection. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't sit down the street, so I turned around before I got stuck. You know what I'm saying? The cop seen me and got on the side of me, and he was black. You know what I'm saying? He got on the side of me. He like, hey man, you know you can't make that turn. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, but you know, you, I'm like, but you also know I can't go down that street as well, right? Because it's a, it's a it's a low clearance. He like, yeah. I'm like, well, I'm just turning around, man. I'm about to go to this police hotel. And he left me alone. So I've never had an altercation like that with the police. But then I've had an altercation with the state troopers, right? The state troopers, uh, DOD inspection. I've had a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Like this one guy, he pulls up. Now, normally when you get pulled over in the 18-wheeler on the highway, the proper protocol is for the police officer to come to the passenger side of your truck. You can either roll the window down and talk to the police officer. If he actually unlock the door, you can unlock the door. He gets in the cab, check the paperwork, go back to his car and do his thing. This motherfucker was on the driver door with his back to the fucking traffic with my door open on the highway. <laughs> and you already know what he was looking for. You know what I'm saying? What the 
fuck was you in here smoking? A Newport, bro. I don't have no weed in here, bro. This is my life. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a stigmatism of a black nigga driving in the 18 wheeler. You know I'm bopping the. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm listening to my music. I'm feeling good. I got my. I got my shit on. This motherfucker think I'm motherfucker smoking weed riding down the highway, bro. No, it's a Newport. But if that was a white boy, he would have been within the right proper, proper protocol. He would have been on the passenger side of the shit. You know what I'm saying? But what do you do? I couldn't go off. I would because I because I was right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't do nothing wrong. I got insurance. I definitely got a valid driver's license. Got a valid CDS. I wasn't speeding. You know what I'm saying? So what you gonna do? He ran my logbook. Motherfucker had to let me go. He was mad as shit. Cause mm-hmm. I'm all in compliance. They don't like that shit. Mm-hmm. They feel like they just, they gonna stop us and something gonna be fucked up and we gonna be getting motherfucking took out this truck and it ain't gonna be me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna find nothing but some, some air fresheners, some Newport, and some fucking energy drinks in here, bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna find nothing to yeah. I ain't about to get caught like that, bro. But yeah, the city cops, I ain't never, I ain't never fuck with the city cops. It's always them, uh, the uh, DLT inspectors or the state troopers, them the ones that be, that be giving me some smoke. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I the only one. I don't know. I it, it be and you can and you can just you can feel that shit. Like man, you racist, but you just don't like, bro. I'm not slow. I'm not no fucking. I'm a city slicker. I'm not slow. You know what I'm saying? I I, I get it. That. You already coming aggressive, and that be the thing. They come aggressive. Like you got, it's a lot when you dealing with trucking, and we in different towns. It ain't like we we over here, and no, nah, we we in KKK land. We go through there and drop off a load to pick up a load. They don't like us out there, Alabama. Like bro, I took a load up to Alabama, like through Alabama, right on Interstate 20. I took a load and got some tomatoes. No, I I picked up a load and got some tomatoes, but. Man, that state is racist as hell in a lot of areas. A lot of them is not, but a lot of areas. It's just like, man, this shit crazy, bro. It is. And it's like how yeah. you, what you said is, is really like just being kind of kind of like um, already you calculated. You already got your moves set up. Like, okay, well, I know he kind of aggressive. Let me try to tone him down. If you can't tone him down, it's going to be a big issue because he already mad about some shit that – Happened 15 years ago when he got his ass whooped, or when somebody took yep. his girl, or he was a he was a fucking nerd getting bullied, and it's just like that ain't on that you shouldn't carry that you should I think they should get like some kind of fucking test done all people for real before they take these jobs man. Yeah, cause they they be scared as hell, bro. We strike fear in them off of just how we look. We don't even gotta talk. We don't gotta say nothing. You know I what? I've been to college, did all of that, did everything right. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I, 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 I did. I did a whole lot of shit wrong too. But damn, I think all. You know? I think all, and, and I think all white people should have a, a black friend, and I think all black people should have a white friend. I think every every person should have all kind of ethnicity kind of friends just so they can understand the way that they live and their lifestyle like just because this dude got mm-hmm. dreads don't mean he a threat just because this dude got a skinhead don't mean he racist you know what i'm saying like yep. that's that's the solution to the problem man get you some different kind of friends other than the ones you got around you that, that got the same pigmentation you got yeah yep. and that's all it is man you gotta you gotta understand other people like i don't mind like, if, if I get pulled over, you know what I'm saying, my, my initial thing, or in any situation, but I did have to learn this too, like, you know what I'm saying, I try to be as calm as possible, because even your tongue can change, can change the situation, you know what I'm saying, For real. if you if you, if you you get pulled over, you snapping and shit, he's going to be snapping, you know what I'm saying, if you know you did everything in the proper compliance, and this motherfucker's still mad, then it definitely ain't your fault, you know what I'm saying, so I look at shit like that too, like, what kind of, what kind of energy am I, am I giving off to this motherfucker? Yeah, and I said most of the time it just be a motherfucker be be having a bad day, and he felt like fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, as I know, I didn't. I have caught myself. I can't speak for everybody, but myself, I know I got an attitude problem. So I know I'm gonna say something. A motherfucker pulled me over. Man, what the fuck is you pulling me over for? Right there, with me saying that, I didn't change the whole dynamics of the, of the fucking situation because I ain't have to say that. I could have said, "What's the problem, officer? What's going on?" Yeah. But shit, with this shit going on the way it's going on, shit, I'm scared as hell to get pulled up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah, I don't, yeah man, I'm straight. Like, cause see, motherfuckers get pulled over and shit, they don't even live. You want to get a ticket? Like, now your family got to put you in the fucking ground. Cause this nigga scared. 
man, he should have worked at Wendy's or something, bro. Like, this shit ain't it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to provide for my family. You trying to provide for yours, and you scared as hell because your job is to fucking stop people from going fast, and now you scared, so you're going to fucking kill me. Or you're going to fucking tase me. Or you're going to put your fucking knee on my neck. Damn. Or you're going to fucking say, oh, I'll put your hands up. I got my phone in my hand. Oh, he got a fucking gun. Now I got eight, eight fucking holes in my back. Like, no, man. That shit ain't it. Like I said, it's all about how you come into a situation, how you take the situation, you know, what you're saying while you're in the situation and how it is. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You got to just, it's fucked up, man, but you got to be a chameleon about that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to fold. Shit. Damn. Because if you don't, you can definitely lose quick. I ain't going to lie. You can lose quick. So, look. Y'all, y'all hear that? That's game for you. And he really just said it, man. You got to learn how to hold them. You got to learn when to fold them. And you got to kind of read the situation, man. We ain't practice none of this conversation, but you see how much game he giving y'all. Got to be able to read people, man. So, look. AJ, where you at? On, yo, yo. What's your handle on the social media, man, so they can find you? Oh, uh, man, I'm on uh, Facebook, jizzle.biz. Uh, Instagram is uh, goddamn Leroy underscore nineteen eighty eight. And yeah, um, y'all can catch me on there doing videos in the truck. Matter of fact, I'm about to do I'm about to do a video in a minute. Man, y'all follow him. I'm about him, to man. put something on there. Y'all follow him, man. He funny as hell, buddy. You, you know this is my guy. This is my brother, man. He funny as hell, man. <laughs> follow him, y'all. Here, y'all here. We we down to the last minute, so we out of here, man. It's eighteen willing, eight jizzle. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Derek, come here right quick. Hey, my, oh, that's my dog. <laughs> hey, what I said, I said, I'm doing the podcast with AJ. He told me, AJ, oh, what'd you say? I wanted to see you, AJ. Yeah, I told him. What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up? That's my dog. What's yeah. Paris at? She in the room, uh, uh, on a damn phone. But look, y'all, we out of here, man. We'll see y'all in a minute. Hey, Jizzle, I'm going to hit you as soon as uh, I upload this. I'm about to get off the phone right quick. Paris, say what's up to AJ. All right, bitch. Hey. hey, Paris. All right, bro, hit me. All right, bro. And it's 18 right, willing, man. And we out of here. You've been listening to the 18 Wheeling Podcast. The podcast for truckers by truckers. We got to get on down the road. But you can find us on TikTok and YouTube at the number 8 Teen Willin and on Instagram at Mr. 8 Teen Willin. Will you be safe out there when you get her pointed towards the house?